An air shower is an extensive many kilometers wide cascade of ionized particles and electromagnetic radiation produced in the atmosphere when a primary cosmic ray i.e. one of extraterrestrial origin enters the atmosphere. When a particle, which could be a proton, a nucleus, an electron, a photon, or rarely a positron, strikes an atom's nucleus in the air it produces many energetic hadrons. The unstable hadrons decay in the air speedily into other particles and electromagnetic radiation, which are part of the shower components. The secondary radiation rains down, including X-rays, muons, protons, antiprotons, alpha particles, pions, electrons, positrons, and neutrons. The dose from cosmic radiation is largely from muons, neutrons, and electrons, with a dose rate that varies in different parts of the world and based largely on the geomagnetic field, altitude, and solar cycle. Airline crews receive more cosmic rays if they routinely work flight routes that take them close to the North or South Pole at high altitudes, where this type of radiation is maximal. The air shower was discovered by Bruno Rossi in 1934. By observing the cosmic ray with the detectors placed apart from each other, Rossi recognized that many particles arrive simultaneously at the detectors. This phenomenon is now called an air shower. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Air shower formation. After the primary cosmic particle has collided with the air molecule, the main part of the first interactions are pions. Also kaons and baryons may be created. Pions and kaons are not stable, thus they may decay into other particles. The neutral pions pi 0 display style pi caret 0 decay into photons gamma display style gamma in a process pi 0 gamma plus gamma display style pi caret 0 right arrow gamma plus gamma the photons produced form an electromagnetic cascade by creating more photons, protons, antiprotons, electrons and positrons. The charged pions pi plus or minus display style pi caret pm preferentially decay into muons and neutrinos in the processes pi plus mu plus plus new display style pi caret plus right arrow mu caret plus plus new and pi minus mu minus plus new display style pi caret right arrow mu caret plus new this is how the muons and neutrinos are produced in the air shower. Also, kaon may be an origin of muons, which means the decay process is k plus minus mu plus minus plus nu. Display style k caret plus or minus right arrow mu caret plus or minus plus nu. In the other hand, kaons can produce also pions via the decay mode. K plus minus pi plus minus plus pi zero. Display style k caret plus or minus right arrow pi caret plus or minus plus pi caret zero. Topic. Detection The original particle arrives with high energy and hence a velocity near the speed of light, so the products of the collisions tend also to move generally in the same direction as the primary, while to some extent spreading sidewise. 
In addition, the secondary particles produce a widespread flash of light in forward direction due to the Cherenkov effect, as well as fluorescence light that is emitted isotropically from the excitation of nitrogen molecules. The particle cascade and the light produced in the atmosphere can be detected with surface detector arrays and optical telescopes. Surface detectors typically use Cherenkov detectors or scintillation counters to detect the charged secondary particles at ground level. The telescopes used to measure the fluorescence and Cherenkov light use large mirrors to focus the light on PMT clusters. Finally, air showers emit radio waves due to the deflection of electrons and positrons by the geomagnetic field. As advantage over the optical techniques, radio detection is possible around the clock and not only during dark and clear nights. Thus, several modern experiments, e.g., Taiga, LOFAR, or the Pierre Auger Observatory use radio antennas in addition to particle detectors and optical techniques. The longitudinal profile of the number of charged particles can be parameterized by the geyser hillis function. Topic. See also Cosmic Ray Observatory